This is the Royal Navy's world-class underwater capability, the Spearfish torpedo. It can exceed speeds of 70 miles per hour, making it faster underwater than a cheetah on land. And this is the factory where they're manufactured. Today, it's been safeguarded. The Defence Secretary, Michael Fallon, made his announcement on a visit to the manufacturing facility. BAE Systems have been awarded a £270 million contract to upgrade the heavyweight torpedo. This contract alone will sustain BAE's torpedo manufacturing capability here in Broadock for 10 more years. We need our submarine fleet and it needs the best equipment and capability that we can provide. There are very real threats there. We've seen uh, just in recent weeks from uh, Russian exercises. Uh, we live in a very uncertain world and we need to make sure that the Royal Navy always has the best equipment to meet it. The MOD could have chosen an American weapon, but decided to give the contract to a UK company. Well, Portsmouth hasn't had the best luck with employment this year, with many shipbuilding jobs lost not so long ago. But with this new contract for BAE Systems and the upgrade of the Spearfish torpedo, it means that it will secure 100 jobs for those highly skilled engineers. And another 40 jobs will be created to work on the upgrade programme. Well, I think that the whole thing, particularly in our industry, it's about maintaining that cutting edge, being able to stay ahead of the game. So the ability to sustain a highly skilled workforce is vital to us for our long-term you know, sustainability. And those skilled engineers have already gone through a four-year assessment phase and are now on their way to making the improvements needed. So there are four areas of improvement. There's an improvement to the warhead. Um, you want warheads to be as insensitive as possible, so the risk of inadvertent detonation is low. There's an improvement to the electronics, just to take advantage of modern technology. Uh, there's an improvement in the safety of the fuel. It used to run on two fuels. It now runs on a single fuel, which is much safer. And there's an improvement in the connection between the boat and the torpedo itself. It used to be a copper wire, and it's now a carbon, it's a fiberglass link. The existing torpedoes will be upgraded to the new design with initial deliveries in 2020 and then in service until 2060. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Portsmouth.